to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Jabes. Yes. It's easy to be Puff, but it's harder to be Sean. You know? Uh huh. Learn that the hard way. And how did you learn that? There's a song that pops up. I don't know. It, it, every two years, and it hits me right in the feels, right in the fucking gooch, right in the gerbil catwalk. Mm-hmm. And it's I'm Coming Home by Puff Daddy. It really does. Dead serious. It if that really song hits does. you at the right moment. If it hits you at the right moment, if it's if some if it's scoring something, oh yeah. some kind of video, some yeah. kind of ESPN. Yep. Um and it, it thirty got me. for thirty. I mean I am Whew. now how did it get you this time? Well, this was self gotten, if you will. Um Gosh. we had a bet with some of our neighbors. Again, which is why we love our neighborhood and our neighbors. Uh, we had a bet with some of our neighbors over a golden elephant. I'm not going to say where that came from. Nope. Um, Might have broken some laws that night. Mm. Might have had some you two white dingling. calls. You two dinglings. Mm. You and the buddy that you're talking about well, thought you were fucking 16 again, bro. Well, whatever. Um, That's I'm, all I'm, I'm going to say. I'm barely older than that anyways. I'm probably like 23. Um, yeah, you're 18 and you thought you were 16 again. You yeah, I mean? I've never... I've never gotten a birth certificate out of my folks. So I'm going to start using the word folks. Please do. Um, Please do. We got a real old timey producer over here, Alec, who's. Uh, he says, like, all He says, folks. He says, all shucks. He says, all very, very Andy Griffith. He's younger than everybody here at the studio. Yeah. But we need to think of a, like an old guy name for him. You remember uh, Maddie? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she would she's super old too. Maggie, so we used to call so her. So we call her Maggie when yep. she was like, "Oh, look at that little cabin." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be nice to just sit there all day? George, I think George. George is always an old no, man's name. I want to go <clears throat> old timeier. Ah, I want like a Wilbur. I want like a you know what I mean, something like yeah. this. I am gonna work on it though. A nice Wilbur. Wilbur, uh, what do you, what say you, Wilbur? No, but last night we had a bet in the neighborhood on the UNC uh, Ohio basketball, State. Ohio yeah. State basketball game. And obviously we live in North Carolina. There's a, a huge contingency of, of UNC fans that live here. And that's supposed to be their sport. Basketball. Yeah. Because uh-huh. we're number one in the world in football right now. And again, it's easier to be puff but it's harder to be sean okay we were we were puffed last night we blew them out that was the worst loss on their home court underneath their coach um, you guys won ever? by what <clears throat> 25 25 it was we, close for a while the spread was four points we were getting four points so technically we won by 29 but whatever and then that kid's uh head busted open and i feel like it all went to <laughs> shit to be on um and we couldn't tell is your head busted open? Is your dread pulled off? It was very hard. Didn't know what was going on. Very hard to tell. It late bleed on that one. And yeah, very. We, we destroyed them. Mm. The bet was this golden elephant, which is just as obnoxious as you think. But it's here's the thing. It's big. It's, what would you say, like the, the size of a small pig? Yeah, well, it's the size <clears throat> of a pygmy elephant. Do you know what I mean? Only gold. Yeah, so only it's gold. the size of the elephant that I would like to have. Right. Only gold. Only gold. So it's, you know, so they wanted to, they were really, really wanting to win because they wanted to have you on the show petting it without saying anything. Yeah. That was their bet. Yeah. Which yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was, I was rooting for them a little bit with that one. <laughs> to be honest <laughs> with you, right? <laughs> I have a couple dogs in the fight. Not too many. Yeah. My dogs are not real aggressive. Sure. Whatever dogs I have in the fight. Yeah. They're more like little poodles. Puppies, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little puppies in the fight. Yeah. Um, So I was just like, you know, I was just <clears throat> rooting for the best, like, winning bet. Do you know what I mean? Sure. The best sure. humiliating part of the bet. So now they have to, what, display this elephant here's, here's the beauty through the holidays. <clears throat> yes. Uh, oh, no, no, no. In their home. And they cannot explain why. Hang on. It's through March. 
Ooh, boy. Yeah. Why so long? March Madness. So the, the, the new bet is, hey, guys, and you guys, whoever makes it further in the, in the tournaments during March Madness, mm-hmm. then you get the, the other okay. one gets the elephant back. If we don't, then the elephant stays. But the deal is it's on their book, like bookshelves. And the houses in our neighborhood, they kind of have these built-in shelves mm-hmm. in all of them. And it's, and it's right by the TV. Right and it's where there. Everybody it's right when you walk out. in. Yeah. It's your whole aesthetic. <clears throat> so our, our friend was trying to get out of this bet last night, and she was just like, uh, I think it would I think it would look better underneath the Christmas tree. And I was Wrapped like, up, she said. No, no, it definitely wouldn't. Wrapped up. You're, you're <laughs> definitely going to have to display that there. Sorry, and then the last friend. text I got, and this was the best one ever, because she really laid it on thick. She goes, well, I guess I'll have to put it next to... The baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah. For Christmas. Yeah, and I tears. Was like, Tear emoji. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I was like, well, I think it's a great place for it um, because it, it'll look really great there. Nothing, yeah. I go, nothing goes with baby Jesus better than a golden elephant. A golden elephant. <laughs> tacky. Tacky, tacky, tacky. But, and I, I wonder if part of the bet is that they can't explain why a golden elephant is there they just have to like go with it yeah you know yep yep yep. and it just needs to be part of their aesthetic and people will kind of be like i mean i like it's very kind of beach chic yeah and then they just have this it almost have, it has a, an, an, an afrikaans sense to it mm-hmm. you know very quintessence yeah Afrikaans Ele- elephants are, are big in africa and india so maybe very indian they can oh. say they have an indian uh, elements of their family I, they have to make up their own yeah backstory. that's their journey i don't have to, to. Go exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not ours um also i have been on fire on drinking bros sports and uh <laughs> come on yeah probably shouldn't bet against me these days no, especially I in college do. i wouldn't any do. college sports so last night you know hopped on over to mybookie.com forward slash drinking bros uh, doubles your deposit all the way to a thousand dollars, which we use on the sports show. Mm-hmm. And I threw uh, a five honey on it, and um, I forgot I'd forgotten about that because I was so excited about the win. Five hundred on what? <clears throat> on the Ohio State. Oh, okay, okay. I was so excited about the win. I was like, oh shit! As I, f- I thought they were going to win, and uh, we had just house Villanova a couple weeks before, which was number eight. Um, UNC was number seven. We're number six in the nation now. I we'll probably move up to like number two in the world which is awesome in basketball. And I, I was pretty confident in it. But UNC fans have this old school like, nope, we're, we're UNC. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and house you. And I was just like, eh, gosh, you golden elephant is what it did. <clears throat> you know, you can buy, buy a lot of those things. Billie Eilish. Man, I woke up to this deal this morning, and I was blown were away. You su- were you surprised? Very. I am not. Very surprised. I'll tell, I'll tell you why. So for those of you who don't know, Billie Eilish, uh, teen sensation, just nominated for two Grammys. She's Grammys. a bad guy. She sings bad guy. You she know had it. one of the best live performances that went viral off of SNL mm-hmm. um, where she was in the box. Uh, still amazing. Um, yeah. Really, really amazing. And she was in a, like a leg cast, too, or something. Remember? She was like oh, an air yeah. cast. You know, she always like, is because she's always hurting herself. <clears throat> either way. Um she shot a documentary for a million dollars about her life and gave like unlimited access to her life and everything that's going on. And that's all. part of her appeal. It is. Mm-hmm. And, and how honest and open she is about her struggles and correct. depression and everything that she goes through. Apple, who's trying to make a b- big push into original content. Mm-hmm. As we know, we've talked about numerous times on the show, paid $25 million and preemptively bought it out before it screened. $25 million for a $1 million movie is utter insanity. That is crazy. And so Why I was trying to pay that much for th- it. That's, that's what I was. And I was trying to break down this deal. And I, you know, when I had read the article, it said that her label had done the doc. So they were repping the sale of this. So, um, <clears throat> well, to be honest with you, like if she would have put it out herself or put it out on her social media or, if the label had put it out with someone else, like, like she has enough fans and following. So I'm glad you brought that up. That I think she could have, I think their pitch may have been like, look, <laughs> this is how much we can make. What are you going to give us for Here, it, right? Here's why I'm glad you brought this up. Because I looked at the end of this article and one of the last lines, and it was very, very telling. 
it said that Billie Eilish, and this was shocking to me, was the most downloaded streamed artist on Apple and Spotify for all of 2019 so far. Uh, the second, but yeah. Second? The first one was Camila Cabello or whatever. Senior. Well, look, we're in December now, so she might have passed her. This, this article says she was first. Okay. So she might have passed her this year already. I mean, there's still a month left, so right. obviously you don't know what's going to happen, but she's got the new single out, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but the way the lines are blurring with media these days, um, I know when Post Malone's new album came out, they released that 50, 40, 50 minutes uh, thing with Zayn. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, so when you got the album or you were looking for the, the first single off the album, that interview is attached to it and it's at the top. So all you're doing is click and play and that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Coldplay yeah, yeah, album yeah. that came out, at mm-hmm. the top of it, there was a 12-minute video with that accompanying with it on Apple, which, you know, again, if you have Apple Music, <clears throat> where, you know, if you don't have it, you live in, in the forest right now. Basically. And don't have don't internet. Know what you're doing. But I will say this, before I play the album, I played the video, the 12-minute video of like, and it was just a 12-minute video of, of the entire band sitting down, going through each track, saying, here's why I made this. I think this is going to become part of their thing, and if they're going to try to get into original contents, to me, Apple already owns music. They, 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 them and Spotify, they own the music space. Spotify has no interest in doing video. They tried that a couple years ago, and it did not do well for them. Um, they had Trevor Noah and uh, Chelsea Handler and some other people on there. Clips of their shows and things like that. You know, um, It wasn't original programming. It was already kind of pre-made. <clears throat> and it didn't do well. But with this, I, you know, I look at the Jennifer Anderson show that's bombing on there that nobody cares about. Um, and there's like five other shows that, I, again, I have no interest in seeing. I don't know why and I don't want to pay for it. Uh, but if you're going to put... These musicians now with their new albums and put these videos these with docs, it like on the their one album direction model, right? Yeah, because if you're the most streamed artist, like it says she was of last year, you just who go isn't off of going that to, alone? Yes, who isn't going to click that? Yeah. I'm clicking it. Post Malone is my favorite right now, right? He is my n- numero uno with a bullet. Sure, that was the first thing I clicked before I played the album. Was oh shit, let me watch this interview before I get into this. Like it's fifty minutes. Sat there and breezed right through it. Didn't think anything about it. Right. A doc is only, you know, 120, 130. I'd, I'd be surprised if they kicked that over two hours just for her audience and, and all that stuff. But, you know, shit. If you're getting that many millions and millions and millions of streams, you have to, p- to click it. Bless you. Um, you might as well have it attached at the top. And I think that might be a genius strategy is to go after musicians in these things yep. rather than making original content. Yeah. I, again, and with the concerts in <clears> there, uh, if they if they go on, go on the road for any yeah. amount of time, the the content that you have, it's built in. It's almost like remember when these comedy specials were coming out? Yeah. They were just banging them out because you have a writer, you have a performer on stage already. You yeah, have everything. the lighting already. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is film it, get the reactions, edit it. So they were like cash cows. They were just doing it, right? All you have to do is give Humpty a chance. You know? What? So the... Yeah. No. Yep. So... <laughs> yep. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then I lose my train of thought because I'm a little dumb dumb. No, but the, the concert no. thing is really interesting. Yeah, so you can... You know, you just send some camera crew with them and you'll yeah. get everything... You need. You don't need to write stuff. You need to. You don't need to create drama. No. You know the lighting is already there for you. You hook. You hook into somebody's sound. Yeah. You're using the sound from the song anyway. Like good to go. So I think that could be Apple's turning point of like, all right, I look twenty five million is way too much to pay for this. They probably could have gotten away with ten to twelve on that fucking thing. Well, they're just fucking blowing through cash, dude. Wow. Well, they're they're the paying richest. people way too much. You have to. It's a, Why there, do you there have a, to? It's an arms race right now for content. Because it look, but they will lose. They're losing. If if this got out in a bidding war with a Netflix or a HBO for Billie Eilish, like it never would have gone to twenty five million. I can promise you that. But they preemptively bought it and said, "Do not shop it." Right. So I bet I guarantee the label just sat there and they were like, "All right, if they want to preemptively buy this, just throw out a number and see if they'll take it." It's Apple, right? 
They're blowing through cash. Oof. 25 million. They is paid it, Jennifer <clears throat> Aniston like well, that much. Yeah, for so, so for, for the Jay Anus show, Jennifer Aniston, that's, that's catching on, by the way. Everybody's calling her Jay Anus. I haven't heard one other person besides you, and it, every time I hear you say it, everybody, I cringe. Everybody. Everybody. One other person say it. Anyway, go ahead. Um, that's <laughs> 13 everybody. million an episode. Mm-hmm. So, all right, that's two episodes of that bullshit show. Of that bullshit show. show. And this is going to. Stream At least a put times. them on the map a little bit and give them a direction. Yeah, which is this is the direction you guys need to be going. Apple <clears throat> music so, and long form music documentaries and concerts and concert shows mm-hmm. documentaries. Do not try and I just saw um, a preview for a new show that they're doing. Truth be told, the cast is insane. Like <clears throat> it's filled with amazing people, and the show looks shit. Aaron Paul's got a new show there. That's uh, what it is. Truth be told, mm. so it's him, Octavia Spencer, like everyone you can fucking think of, right? right? Is in this show, and it looks shit. They're getting paid. I know, but They're I'm just saying, paid. like that. There's no show on there, no preview that I'm getting juiced for. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That yeah. my beef is getting squeezed. Yeah. In you know into out. a bag. Yeah. Into a Ziploc bag. No, no show up. on there makes me want to squeeze some beef into a Ziploc bag. None. You know what I mean? None. HBO, on the other hand. Yep. Squeezable beef. Yeah. Okay. Throw that in the freezer for later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. If you're not subscribed to the video show on YouTube, you need to <laughs> for what Jade just movements. did. For that. <laughs> Go to, yeah, we're we, all on a Drinking Bros we, podcast we, we, uh, now, same as your mom's house, um, with the media company wise. So subscribe. That is where we have moved to to watch the videos. Uh, next up, I, I want to. I can't can't stop thinking about this. How do you get caught like this? The world leaders, <clears throat> leaders oh, of the free world. Sorry, I was going on to the next. Um, how do you get caught? Yeah. Was it that bad? So it was. I mean, it's Trudeau. Just- it was yeah. the, the Canadian Prime Minister, uh, mm-hmm. one of those fucking royal people from England. I know you're House super into that now. Yeah. Uh, who knows? I'm super um, into him. God, that's weird now. It's getting weird with you. What? You're watching PBS docs on, I know. on the royal family and Anyone, shit. but look, listen. Look and listen, listen, look, look, look. So if anyone's watching The Crown... This little ding dong can't handle it. But if anyone's watching The Crown, which a lot of fucking people are, you know where I'm coming from. I can handle The Crown. I'm fine with The Crown. You haven't handled The Crown. It's not that. It's just it's on at inappropriate times for me. It's on Netflix. Every every show is it just is. there. But you, the, the, the time that you watch it at 8 o'clock is no, not... No, you don't need to... Nobody wants to sit down and watch The Crown at 8. You know, that's a 10 o'clock show of like, all right... I'm going to be a little sleepy after this. I'm sure there'll be, you know, three gigs out of it where it's like, hmm, that was interesting. No, it's not funny in any way. Wow. <laughs> it's very dark and actually dark. Yeah. Well, like it's hard to see. Nothing the makes me in laugh harder than dark, dark shit. <laughs> you know that about me. Yeah. So anyway, you know, you know where I'm coming from. Carry on. Carry on. Um, one of those little royal people was the, in there. Uh, Prime Minister of Canada, France, and then uh, Bo- oh, Boris, the new oh. Prime Minister of uh, England. Okay. And they were uh, making fun of Trump. And they were like, oh, is he here? And they were like, no, he won't be here for 40 minutes. He's always late. Because mm-hmm. he's got to do a press conference for 40 minutes everywhere we go. Right. Um, Jealous. It, it this seems is a bunch of girls sitting around. It's weird, talking right? shit about their hotter friend. It's weird, right? Mm-hmm, but that's all it is. Uh, like I, to me, I don't actually understand what the big deal is. I mean, are people up in arms, or it's just kind of a little bit weird? It's strange got- to see other leaders making fun of another one over gossipy shit, like because it. It's just true, though. It's like high school. Well, but it's here's the thing. So when I'm I saw, I'm sure it, he does have to like stand outside, talk. Nobody wants to talk to them. They no, get to go right, right exactly. in. Exactly. Right. So, yes, yeah. I'm sure it is true it that is. he actually is late all the time. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it's true, and like uh, I don't. I think the reason like people aren't up in arms about it is there's nothing to be up. In arms. 
Well, A, they're well, talking shit about Trump and probably everybody's down for it. But but the, the other part of it is, is uh, I think this is what we all assumed, but we've never had access like that. So, like, what are their conversations? Yeah. I've never heard any of these motherfuckers. I remember Obama got caught on a hot mic with, with uh, Putin, the guy from Russia, about, uh-huh. you know. What did he? He said, look, man, after this next election, we can work some things out. You remember that one? That was a big deal at the so, time where yeah. people thought it was a big deal. I, right. I, I didn't really because I was like, the only thing I thought it was a big deal about that statement was that he hadn't been reelected yet. But he. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, he was like. Ah, that's a ballsy okay, one. Okay, bro. But that's what I figure goes on behind the, the, the scenes. But you catch that. Like that, like one line here or there, not a group of them and all laughing and l- laughing and gossiping like it was in like like they were in a hallway of high school. And I me personally, I actually enjoyed it. Because I, I enjoy it. I think it it makes them seem like real. jealous. Well, but there's but jealous, jealous and real. And Do you real. know what I mean? To where you're like, you know, it's actually not shit talking him. Yeah. What they are saying is good, right? That people want to talk to him or whatever. I guess maybe not. I, I don't know. No, but I, he shouldn't it's, be late all it the time. Seemed that's to me, for sure, well, there's nothing you can do. When, it's just a crush of reporters, and all they want to talk to is him. Yeah, like he dominates news around the world and still continues to do so. Even this story last night, like they're they just wrapped up with that impeachment inquiry bullshit, right? Mm-hmm. I guess. And uh, <laughs> do you say wrapped up? Yeah, yeah, where they're like, hey, we, we've we've kind of got our summations, and I, we have enough here, and I think we want to press forward with with the impeachment thing. Like, um, oh, okay. But there's still like I don't know three or four people to talk, and they don't know what they're going to do with daytime and all this other stuff. Buried again. Yeah, the impeachment thing has been buried by Trump doing something else somewhere else, and it just continuously happens over and over and over again, and. If you don't have this stuff, again, I looked at this thing last night. I don't know. It was a slow news day. Um, the impeachment thing's not really going anywhere. People aren't. If good. you don't have that story, you don't really have anything news wise. And like everybody ran with it Trevor Noah and uh, Colbert and all those guys, in, in which they should, obviously, like with any president, really wouldn't matter. Like that's a pretty funny story. Um, but it, let's say you don't have that yesterday. You're just sitting there with a pile of nothing on your desk if you're a writer of like, all right, great. What are we doing today? There it is. Exactly. Trump's you know, always the savior of this. More and more, I think that Veep is like real. Probably, it's right? It's written by, I mean, everyone on their staff, most, a lot of people on their staff have been in the political realm and they do, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I, that's how I think it is. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with it being that way. Do you know what I mean? Where they are real people. They close the doors. They talk about things in a real way. Like, how the fuck are we going to spin this shit? Sure. You know they do, right? Sure. Oh, look at this motherfucker. He's got to do a fucking press conference for an hour. Yeah. See you in a sec. You know what I mean? I, that's how Veep is. I think that's how they really are. I don't know. I- but now you have to worry more about the hot mic and who's recording you and who wants to write the book and blah 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 so i don't think it goes on as much but in my mind that's how it's always been yeah i i I think before he got in i thought there was like a little more professionalism to the white house and then once he was there once he got in i didn't i didn't think that only because he exposed a lot of it where he was like do you remember the white house is a shithole comment Mm -hmm. so when he said that, people were like, oh, my God, it's the White House. It's, no. No, dude. It's a fucking tour that you go on with tourists. You can walk through the whole thing. And if you know the right people, you go down and see the bowling room, see some other things underneath the house and everything else. But I lived in one of those in college. It was an old governor's mansion from right around the same year, I think, as the White House was there. Mm-hmm. 1860s maybe uh, maybe the White House is earlier. I don't know. Either way, everybody was like, oh, man, you live in the governor's mansion. It must be nice. And I was like. It is. Uh, it looks like it from the outside, but inside it's old. It's a like, museum. Yeah. Okay. And so is the White House, right? It's, exactly. Things are dusty. Things are old. It's not like what Trump, for example, is used to. <clears throat> um, and I'm sure that was Michelle Obama's fucking deal with it, too. But she's not going to say that. Yeah. You know. A hundred percent. And it's. A hundred percent. But. 
you know, I, Trump actually took a lot of the professionalism out of it on purpose because he wanted people to be able to come to his office. Right. So he took took that away. But it did used to be like you could not go on this side if you were a certain oh, yeah, 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 job yeah, yeah. and you can't just yeah. go into the office. You need to make an appointment here. And even though he's literally down the hall, you can't talk to him about something. Sure. That was before. Yeah. And apparently now it's just, I mean, he's walking around. You can go right into his office. You can knock on the door. Like, but that that was just with him. Before that, it was very professional, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, and there was kind of a mystique about it. Yeah. And then once he got in there, it was just like, well, here's what it really is. And he's uh, running it like an office, right? So yes. It's like, and when I was in there, because I don't know if you've taken a tour of the White House or done that before. I don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> You know that about me. <laughs> you would like this one, I think. Um, no, dude. I'm either way, no, I, I've taken a tour of the, the the White House and stuff, and like uh, it, it reminds me of my fraternity house, where it's just like, all right, you live in a museum, and then you know, it's it seems weird to me that the actual president lives there. Where you're just like, yeah, man, people are just walking in and out museum, of this house, right? Yeah, yeah it's strange. What are Strange. their actual bedrooms? Like, what are what are their living quarters? Not like, been really? In their bedrooms. Exactly. So, no. you go, is are those like remodeled? Are those super nice? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I want to see. Not. It. I'd like to see it, but uh, yeah. So you know, with all this stuff, like, there's a realness to it that it's just like, oh, all right. I can never go back now. I don't think like we've seen behind the curtain with all this stuff. I think you're right. I think it's probably all like Veep. Um, what I was surprised about it is how even on a local level. You know, with the government, like you got to go to the school meeting the mm-hmm. other night. It is like that. And uh, I talked about this on Drinking Bros. Let's talk about it again today since, you know, I'm obviously running for New Hanover County School Board. Um, the the one or the only honest moment I've seen out of anyone in that, you know, profession, I mm-hmm. guess, was uh, that Stephanie Adams. Yeah. Um, who was on the, the school board who just. I need to say like she. Rock star. She's walking the walk. I don't I don't know what her ultimate agendas are, but I will say as far as diversifying the schools in our neighborhood, giving mm-hmm. everybody a chance mm-hmm. and going more for community schools. Yeah. And speaking out when you don't have to and really hearing the people. Um this is someone that moved their child mm-hmm. from a really really good school into a like Inner city school. Inner city school. Yeah. Um, for the reason of wanting her child to have more just diversity around her. Because right. one of the things that we're, you know, you are running on as well is yeah. community schools. And, you know, someone living next to a nice school, but because they aren't in the, the block that they're supposed to be in, they drive 15 miles away. That's not okay. Right. Right. Am I wrong that that's what you're... No, 100%. You want them to be able to go to that school and then wherever the communities are, they will make the schools good as far as the people that are in that community because you're all behind this school that you're all around, right? Right. Um, So anyways, she's walking the walk. She's talking the talk. As much as we talk about these other people, we do have to say that there are people on the board that are like really listening. And trying. And really trying. And we really hear you. And um, and would love to work with her. Yeah, I mean, I look, I every all those other fuckers can fucking leave. By the way, but yeah, but uh, Stephanie saying. Adams, um, and because you know she gave a speech at the end when when this final vote for the redistricting came down, she was like, I think we should push this vote. She was like, Man, I've been thinking about this over the last week and really and really thinking about it. And I yeah, believe and she's that not, she and, was. So here, here's the thing: she's not up for reelection. She didn't have to say this. No. Like, it, it was just a genuine moment and uh, in a place that was full of contention. You, you were there all night. and I was. And, and uh, the, it was inspiring. the feeling, she of, was, the feeling she was awesome. of that meeting, and a lot of the meetings have been different, but the overwhelming feeling of that meeting was you are not diversifying these schools mm-hmm. the way that you say. You, you say this is the whole reason that you're doing it, and you didn't do it. Yeah. Right. So that was the overwhelming and people were, you know, passionately speaking and bringing in a bunch of fucking people. And it was. Yeah, it was like, that's how they're supposed to fucking be. Yeah. And someone on the board is supposed to be like, I fucking hear you. And like, it was very field of dreams. That's what I wanted. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But and then there was another lady. 
Good for you, whatever, for saying anything, but you're up for re-election. We know why you said something. <laughs> Actually, she's not. I looked at her. She's not? She's not. Then why? Why did she just now say it? You know- I, I'm not going to say her name because I don't really know what the deal I, is. I don't either. I don't know what her story is, but, so, uh, the, but the, the Stephanie Adams one I can vouch for. Um, yeah, and I will say if I didn't know that she is actually walking the walk, I would I would question her motives about speaking out as well. Like I would say, are you just trying to look good, da, 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 but she is doing it. If you're not up for re-election, why? She lives you don't have right to do by anything, us yeah. and she drives all the way yeah. to an inner city school. So good for you. Like. Yep. Yeah, it was awesome. But uh, as far as the rest of this stuff, it, yeah, it really is like Veep. That, that's It's like Veep. And you know they're behind the scenes like, man, I don't want to go through this shit again. <laughs> Little what's his name? Nelson? Yeah. You scared? Uh, Bodaloo. You scared? I, I, what I call me is on, on Drinking Bros. Can I buy a consonant out of that guy's last fucking name? I don't if know, he was, man. If he was a clue on Wheel of Fortune, I would, you would make no money off of that name. Um, there is just one consonant in that name. Uh, his whole platform was diversity and he was fighting Stephanie on this <laughs> as hard as his little, as his little voice could go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hey, so, uh, hey, well, I mean, I'm not, I won't go too far months. on that, but uh, I did yesterday. he had a, he had a platform that he won. He won because of his he, diversity. That was his thing. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job, ma'am. I've been working on this for five months. Well, ringing my hands. Here's the deal. Ringing my hands. You just don't want to work on it anymore. No, no. You didn't do a good job, and you just want to be done. There's something else up with that guy because he ran for another position or whatever. Uh, also, I want to tell the audience um, when we went to sign up, Dan and I, they asked us if we were running as Republicans or Democrats, which Dan and I were like, what? For the school board? No. Why, why do it we need to be, be political? No. There should be no politics in the school board. I, I don't know why. It, it is extremely strange. And we asked if we could run independently because, look, although I'm a Republican in real life, I don't want to bring that bullshit into the schools. I just want to make decisions on, on a case-by-case basis, whatever is right for the kids in the community. The other thing I find strange about it is, and I talked to Dan about this, um, you can't vote – if you're if you're a kid until you're 18 years old, mm-hmm. well, at that point you're graduated from the schools here in, in New Hanover County. You're finishing up high school. Why is there any political party affiliated with the school board? With the kids, well, Republican or Democrat? What, why? What are you gonna? Is that the deal? Is that like Republicans don't want community school? Like I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the they do. I don't think Democrats. Do. I don't. I, I don't know what the fucking difference is. Um, Doesn't matter. Uh, no, I, I don't know what the difference is between why you have to run Democrat Republican versus Independent, or why. I'm assuming it's just oh. for the, the the ballot. But yeah, um, it's just for the ballot so that people that people can are Republican it down, they can like, just. This should be one thing that. And look, we may lose because of this. Um, we we one of our friends is on the Trump team um so we chatted with them and it's like we might lose because of this uh i don't really care i'm gonna keep running i'm gonna keep going and if i have to register on the next go round, you know i want to give this a genuine shot Mm -hmm. doing this independently and see what the results are um because i don't i don't have to answer anybody i don't give a shit about you know money or anything about uh whatever entails that comes with this job Mm -hmm. right because i think you get paid something Oh yeah, you it's do not, get some form of salary. It's not a bunch. I, I don't know what it is. I don't really money. care. I, it's not about the money or anything else. And it's not about the politics. Um, y- anybody who listens to this show or Drinking Bros, clearly you know where my politics lie. Th- but the school board is not one of them, and it, it should not influence decisions. So uh, we'll give it a go as independents. And if not, um, you know who's up on the on the next one for twenty two. If I lose twenty in, in twenty twenty, is uh, Nelson. Later. So goodbye. When I looked, I because I asked them when I was there, I was like, "What's what's his affiliation?" He's a Democrat, and I was like, "Fucking figures." Um, not that night. <laughs> well, not knows, that night. Man, who knows what his his thing is? Uh, either or. Um, we had a great turnout for the chili cookoff in the campaign kickoff last night. Uh, we went hard, James. Yet you cooked a mighty chili. So did you, Jamie? Cooked a mighty chili. Was that your first one? Yeah, was that your first no. chili? No, I'm fat. I eat it all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> all right. Yeah, that was the chili of like That was your first chili, though, James, no. right? It was my second. Yeah, it was good. 
the other chili that I made won second place. Oh, and, and another competition. I was chili. out of town for that. That was my first chili. That was uh, at the, the clubhouse, right? That the was at the clubhouse. And uh, the godfather, Nick. Yeah. Golden elephant. Yep. Um, he took third. So he, re- he really wanted to come yesterday and, uh, and show out. But by, by the way, when, I, when we say clubhouse, I'm not talking about like a fucking golf course or anything like that. Like it's a little, little tiny get together. You know, like a, oh, it's just in our neighborhood. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I always feel like when you hear the term clubhouse, you're like, oh, I'll meet you at the clubhouse. I just, I just played the back nine, and the weather's a little damp on the greens. Well, it's the mansion by the pool, though. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? No. The it huge is, mansion with the yeah, golf course? Yeah, it is definitely not a mansion. No, it Did is you not. Imagine? It's a house. You know, everyone has it's their- a little tiny If clubhouse. you're in like any kind of subdivision or whatever, yeah. anywhere, you Some have place like- place to use the bathroom. The in. meeting place, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's a little meeting place for HOAs in the neighborhood. Uh, either or, we should put a ghost bed in there from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Would it- they yeah, don't have beds just right in, there. in the mi- No, they don't cuz it's a living room, bro. Well, I, There's no I have, bedrooms. I have heard people have gotten crazy in there and have slept on the couches, so I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little mattress in there, you know, for just tuck it away in a closet in case somebody needs it. They can pull the mattress out and have a a nice night night. Night night. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. And uh, their 36-month pay-as-you-go program is the best in the biz. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's getting hard. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's getting soft. You're getting hard and soft. So Why? Uh, the, it's the mattress, man. I, nothing I can do about it. If you're hard, the mattress is going to make you soft? Y- yes. That's not a good It is, because you lay ad. down, you know? And then your boner will go away? Well, I mean, it's going to go down after you have sex, so yeah. Yeah, uh, you didn't say that. All you said was that it, your boner would just go away. Just when I am down. riffing on these songs, I really need you to go <laughs> along with it here. Because chances are there is somebody at home who is recording these, and they're going to put them out on an album one day. Everybody's hot. Everybody's hot. Everybody's getting soft. Um, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Today, I don't like that one. if you're military or a first responder, you get 15% off. Forever, forever, forever. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today, James. You got some killer deals. They do, and they have have the spinning wheel. Yeah, the spinning wheel's back. Uh, You You can can get get a bunch of money off. Free shipping. You can get 99. You can get almost $1,000 off a bundle Mm -hmm. on this wheel. You can get $200 off of a mattress. What? Is that even like, what is it, five bucks? I know. Was it $8? What crazy. is it? What is it? What I mean, is what's it? going on? What's going on, kids? I mean, these guys are crazy over uh, here. <laughs> crazy. Uh, next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Shabloinker. Had a lot of that in my drinks yesterday. Had to. Had to. We did a three hour show yesterday. That was a Rogan show. How was your butthole last night? Bucker, my pucker hole. It was. You had uh, a lot of chili. You had a lot of strike force. This is not sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Good then, answer. Would you like me to Good go into uh, more no, graphic no, no. detail? No, no. Would you like me to ruin all the romance was in our relationship? Like, was it like Brolin burning or Dunham? I don't know. I, it, it was like taking 14 pages of a phone book and just tearing it in half, you know? If we're getting specific with it, we're just like, I'm done with it, and just throw it on the floor. <laughs> you know, that's. What, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, go ahead, just carry that on. Rip of like. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. You know, okay. unnecessary. All of this. Um, just uh, took a shower afterwards, so I didn't have to think about life. Um, yeah. Very Elizabeth Shue leaving Las Vegas. You know, just kind of sat by the oh, drain. Yes, yes. All curled up. I was more like a prickly pear, like Nicolas Cage. Ah, I'm a prickly pear. Cage against the machine. Um, I love him. Uh, so Strikeforceenergy.com has got four amazing flavors: orange, grape, orange, and lemon. Um, ten pack, forty pack, seven fifty milliliter bottle. Here it is. So here's the boxes, and you've seen these at Seven Elevens all over the United States. 
they just ship you these. So like, it's not a mess. You can just keep them on your counter and uh, uh, fire them up, dude. Tasty tiny little tin pouch. Boom, boom. Pop it into any liquid available. Lasts longer than five-hour energy. And uh, there's no carbs and sugars in it, which is amazing. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION. Gets you 20% off. And they have a subscription of the month club. Last but not least, StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you rag! Yeah. Alec covered his ears over there. He's not even wearing headphones. You that it's just the acoustics in here got gotcha, you. Huh? Well, he's an older he's an older gentleman. Yeah. And his ears it really hurts his ears. Archibald. Archibald. Archibald's a good uh, good old timey name, you know. Uh George. George. Gather my my bag. I'm going down to the clubhouse now. Earl. That's Earl. a good one. Burl, ba- baby Burl, Earl, uh, Burl. <laughs> Burl's good, dude. Yeah. I like Burl. Yeah, Milton. Once he like when it starts to come out, like if Milton. he starts saying his old timey stuff, Milton like, Burl okay, had two Burl. old timey names where it was just like, yeah, exactly, old timey after old timey. Yeah, uh, those guys shave with straight razors. Mm-hmm. Had to. Mm-hmm. Had to. Look, get yourself a kit. So does Burl. Yeah. So does Burl. Get yourself a kit. Get them for your dad. Get it's them for the your holidays. brother. I will say, this is a good... Great Christmas gift. Easy, right? Yes. Because it's going to be impressive. It's going mm-hmm. to be super nice. Look nice. Yeah. Look like old-timey, like Burl. Yes, like Milton. You'd be like Burl made it You can you. get all of the uh, straight razors engraved, so... Again, Ukrainian bush, dwarf shaver, uh, whatever you want, you can get on there. And um, it's a nice thing. Mm-hmm. It's a nice thing for fathers and sons, brothers and uncles, Share grandfathers, shave. grandfathers. Oh, grandfather. And, and great grandfathers. You know? So. Grandpapa? Yeah. <laughs> uh, mis abuelos <laughs> y mi tios. Um, that's grandparents and uncles in Spanish. You're welcome for that lesson today. Wow. Go ahead and rewind it. Play it back. Learn a different language for Christmas. Go to straightrazors.com. <laughs> Promo really, code revolution for 20% You really took a guitar on that one. Oh, <laughs> I biblioteca you on that ass, dude. I taught you from you, my book. Very champagne. Oh, champ, champagne. Let's talk about uh, religion. Is that how you say religion in Spanish? It's probably just religion, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Religiones. Uh, Osteen is back with Kanye. We knew this was going to happen. We, me. Well, we both did. Um, and you know they're doing a tour mm-hmm. of the United States. You know where they're opening at? Yeah, Cheddar Sun. Cha Ching. They're going on their Cheddar Cha Ching for Jesus tour. Man, it is money for the Lord tour. I thought he would maybe go back to that church and do one more thing. No, no, no. Uh, they're no, booking no. this out across the country. That went so well. How much money? Did the they... tithing was overfloweth. They made so much money that they immediately got on a fucking tour together. I mean, that's crazy. So, guess where they're opening? Show is May 2nd, Jabes. Mm. Yankee Stadium. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> now this is real, isn't it? Dude, Yankee the Bronx is Stadium. not going to go for that bullshit. Yes, they are, man. No, they I think there's bro. more religious people than you think. They're doing it. Nobody from the Bronx is going to go, but the people will come from around yeah for I, sure that, these this will be sold out every single place in seconds i can promise you that um be, even people who want to see look you're going to have kanye fans you're going to have osteen fans forget it dude they're going to make a gajillion dollars uh welcome welcome to the new world i like how you said you're going to have kanye fans and osteen fans yeah no real religious people but you're going to have fans of no. those two guys osteen is religious obviously Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I don't know, with Kanye, the way he's able to spin this music, because that's how he's, you know, that's how he's able to get out of that title contract is he can perform his old catalog songs underneath as long as they're different. Mm-hmm. So he can do it under gospel and, uh, yeah, 
Are you listening, Taylor Swift? Mm-hmm. She knows. I know she knows. She knows. She's really just stoking Taylor those Swift flames. Knows. Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, she got in a Sundance yesterday. What what got into Sundance, though? It's Taylor Swift. She did a documentary. Okay. Um, I guess they're, they're calling it the, you know, the first real, honest, raw look at her life. It won't be. It is opening Sundance. It won't be raw. It is the opening film of Sundance. She'll have full makeup on the whole time. (laughs) Let's see. I said this the last time they did this big uh, expose thing on Beyonce, I think in Vanity Fair or something, and it was everywhere. It was like she finally is going to really open up Mm -hmm. about all of the things that like really happen in her life and how she really feels. No. Yeah. Well. Sometimes I feel... Insecure too was about as far as they went. And what did I say? I want to see the real. I want to see the real raw. The real shit. shit. I, I want to see you shaving your toes. I think I want to her... see you sh- shaving the hair off your toes. I want to see you eating saltines with butter on them over the sink. Do you know what I mean? Like I want real stuff. I th- I think her doc on um was it Netflix? I think that was pretty good. Uh, yes, it was good. Was it a raw? inside look into her real life absolutely not close enough for me i i i understand that she's got kids and shit and i'm fine with that with taylor swift she doesn't have any kids so there's no reason a camera can't follow her everywhere where you're just like hey we'll see we'll see anyways it's opening sundance uh on that note I'd like to send a congratulations uh to my beef fry clayne crawford friend of the show friend of the pod clayne crawford he's been on many times yes friend in real life friend um, in real life Awesome dude, so amazing he, actor. If you by don't, the way. yes, if you don't follow him on uh, Instagram, uh, do it. He's pretty honest and open about all of his shit. Obviously, you've heard him on this show and Drinking Bros. He's numerous really, now times. Now that's really honest. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. No. And when he got fired from Lethal Weapon, he didn't know what he was going to do. Uh, there's a post about it now, which is why I can talk about it. And so we had chatted for a long time, and he just said, "Man, I." I am getting offers. Like I'm, he did something for Hulu and some, you know, something interesting, not you know, just a bullshit project. And uh, he was getting. I know he got a big offer for like a CBS show. It's just like I don't want to do network television right now. Um, I don't want to go back to that life and mm-hmm. all of that entails. Yeah, it's and not he goes, for him. I would rather just make fucking indie movies like I used to make, and and we'll see what happens. So he financed this movie. Uh, it's called The Killing of Two Lovers, and. It was just one of his favorite directors uh, that he had seen and met. He actually met him at Sundance, uh, I believe it was with me. Maybe it was the year after. Um, Either way, uh, he met him there, and he was just a fan of his. So he went up to him, talked to him, said, hey, man, I love this movie. I love your work, and hopefully we can work together someday. Mm -hmm. And he gets a call later, and they they got this script. And he goes, hey, man, we're looking for financing i'd love to do this movie with you and um the script was rad and clean was like fuck it man don't go look for financing i'll i'll just finance the rest of it and i want to do it and it got into sundance which is that's huge massive and massive and that's it pretty incredible um that just does not happen at all i mean i've fucking tried nine times i think the only you know we've had i've had two things in sundance one was for range 15 and i you know, you got the the sense because they weren't that kind to us. There. <laughs> um, you got the sense that they were just doing it for veterans, or it was just mm-hmm. like, oh, we've got to have a veteran thing. Might as well grab these assholes. Yeah, they uh, threw us. They threw us Frank Stallone. Yeah, they threw us a a, a Frank Stallone s- bone. A Stallone bone. <laughs> and, Two seconds before. And uh, a Stallone bone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he played our after party. Uh, acoustic guitar so that's another story and for i talked to him at the day. bar for yeah, a little did. bit he chatted you up uh-huh he was open to slide a little stallone bone inside of you yeah i almost got a stallone bone yeah you did now you might have got a brush by you yeah what no, no. sorry i ruined that <laughs> sorry, I ruined that. <laughs> sorry i got you there you could have been, yeah, yeah. been a stallone yeah yeah you've been a stallone what if you were Jesse Stallone? Oh. But it was Frank. Your you mouth had to, keep to ex- God's ears, yeah. <laughs> to God's <What>? dick. Huh? <laughs> what? Imagine if, if you had to go through the rest of your life of like, hey, I'm, I'm Jesse Stallone. Oh my uh, God. Are you married to Sylvester? No, Frank. Frank. <laughs> he plays music? Uh, maybe you've heard of him. 
<laughs> fucking Barfly, only the one one of the greatest movies ever made. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. It's, still, <laughs> it's one of those Stallone. names. It's one of those names. You where, couldn't be anyone else. No, you can't be like, oh no, it's Phil Stallone <laughs> that lives in like. You know what I mean? It's always a Frank uh, or, or a Sly or, or Sly, right? Hey, hey. There's no other Stallones in the world. You could have been Jesse Stallone. Oof, so close, man. You guys, that would have been dope. I either um, could have been Markle <laughs> or. Jesse Stallone. But here we are, and here we stay. Here we stay. Um, <laughs> the only other movie I had in Sundance was not an independent at all, and it was bullshit. A lot of these movies aren't, and it's fucking ridiculous. The movie I did was $13 million. I just started in it. I didn't finance it, obviously, or produce it, but it was $13 million, and I had every celebrity and their mother in it, and I don't know, man. I didn't feel like... It was strange. We didn't feel like it, it deserved to be in Sundance. We were just like, eh, I took it, obviously. Right. A lot of free shit and, and enjoyed my time there. Mm-hmm. Um, but this movie, The Killing of Two Lovers, is an actual independent film made with fucking shoestrings and yes. hope. And, and self-financed. And, yes. Yeah. Uh, and it got in and it's incredible because that this is what it should be. This is what Sundance should be. And I'm super amped for him. And... Uh, yeah, man, that's that's a crazy, crazy thing to happen, uh, especially in, on the first one that you produced like that. Uh, so congratulations. We, we will have him on the show before he goes out to Sundance to talk about the movie. Um, nice. Yeah, uh, I already chatted with him about that. Uh, next up, Jabes, this one is for you. Okay. Um, there is a fake white van hoax that is going around on Facebook um, that says, hey, if you're next to a white van in a parking lot, don't get out of your car because women are being abduct- abducted. I almost didn't want to tell you this story because now you're going to be parking next to white vans, I think, a lot. Trying to get abducted. Yes. Yeah. Sex trafficked. Yeah. So what they're saying just, is. I'm just bored, you know, I need a little excitement in my life. Yeah. Yeah. You need a little ad- abduction. Just a quick abduction. They, they'll drop me off. Believe me, they'll drop me off. They don't want to keep me. <laughs> Believe me, once I start talking, they will definitely dump me in a um, ditch. Ditch alive. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so now that's a thing. And the cops are saying, look, this is not real. We have no reports of this in any city. Please stop sharing this on Facebook and passing this around. So, Jesse, I just want to let you know, <laughs> if this pops up on your feed, okay. the once a week you check Facebook. Sure. Please, please do not think it's real. Do not start parking not next start to parking. white vans, uh, honking your horn. Yeah. <clears throat> There's nobody in there. I'm knocking on the windows. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in this van? You pull a tit out. Yep. What? Hello? What? Um. I've got young features. <laughs> I might go for... I won't go for top dollar, <laughs> but I will go for uh, a certain amount of dollars, right? <laughs> An amount of dollars I will go for. Uh, so don't like overlook me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because once you see me up close, you go, ooh, ooh no way. All you got to do. Think of how the buyers, I don't know how it works yeah. with sex trafficking. But anyway, sure. they take you. You're the merchandise. And so think of if people are looking from far away, mm-hmm. what kind of money you could get. You know what I'm saying? You are a crown royal bag full of rubies. Yes. That's what you are. Fine jewelry. Fine jewelry. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't understand that one, but yeah. Well, James, um, that, I think that's in the sex trafficking world that's what it is right it's rubies oh because it's like a dingy bag on diamonds. the outside but diamonds on the inside no i think that's what you have to trade off with right cuz you can't use actual cash to pay for these like transactions or oh i think it's bitcoin at is this it? point yeah 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 it might be bitcoin is what's used for any uh illegal transaction of any kind all right so how many bitcoins are you going for look i don't know what the rate is right now but 7500 roughly like you could get half a coin probably for me. 37? 37, I'd pay 3750 for you. Just to throw you around a little bit. <laughs> you don't get weird. All right, now we're now we're getting into dangerous territory. Well, Anyways. not at all. all you, so what we're saying is anybody in a white van who may have over, overlooked Jesse, yeah. all you have to do is give Humpty a chance. No? Still. <laughs> 
quit trying to make that happen in this episode. <laughs> quit saying. Jesse, it just hey. comes out naturally. I'm uh-huh. not trying. Oh, it I'm sounded not, really natural. Not pushing it, not forcing it. It's just, yeah. kind of just mm-hmm. coming out naturally. Mm-hmm. All you have That's to what do. your mom said last night. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And give him to you a chance. <laughs> um, Easy, buddy. <laughs> Easy, brother. Talking about uh, giving second chances out, Jabes. Old Try tim- third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Timberland. Old Justin Timberland. This kid can do no wrong. Man. In the eyes of doormat, Beal- Bealster. <sighs> I'm walking with my feet 10 feet off a beer. Um, Jessica Biel is married to uh, Justin Timberlake, obviously. This is about the 10th rumor of him cheating on her. Uh, um, He was, he he is shooting a movie, which I thought he was done doing those forever, which I thought. Gosh, we all hoped, but no, he's he's still uh, doing movies. Keeps getting out there and um, giving the people what they never asked for. He's got what, one or two kids now? One. Yeah. So he's probably like, man, I want to get the fuck out of there. They have one kid that's older. Oh, you really? know? I didn't know that. Not older, but I mean like like Jax, where you're Five? like, okay, now, yeah. All so right. now you can like- Yeah, do things. Live your life. Well, he was in the French Quarter living his life oh, with his co-star. Oh, for sure he was. Uh-huh. He got caught uh, holding hands with her. Yep. So it, you Hand can see for, for anyone that is uh, living under a rock, it's this grainy, it's a very far away zoomed in video from grainy. paparazzi. Yeah, no, you can see it. But like from paparazzi zoomed like in where he's thing. drinking on a balcony in New Orleans and his co-star is holding his hand, hand on the leg. Mm. She, he's holding her hand, blah, blah, blah. Um, And everyone's just like, okay, Whoopsie. what the fuck? He said nothing. For this amount of time, which to me that is bullshit. Well, you should I'm have sure. responded. You should have fucking responded immediately. By the way, I'm sure he'd call the missus. Would piss. Yeah, yeah. he'd call the, the publicist and mm-hmm. say, "Hey, how do we what attack do we do? this? And what are we doing? Stay quiet right now. We don't don't do anything. Let it die down for a second, and then make a statement, which is exactly what he did, right? Yeah, I I just you know I think he's just bored with homegirl and. Of course he is. And that's that's kind of the thing. I wouldn't be surprised to wouldn't see them be? getting divorced. Yeah, yeah, dude. But what the fuck? I'm not him, you know? You uh, don't you know, she's not she's not a crown royal bag f- f- full of jewels. She used to be. Man, you know what I mean? back in the day. She got too thin. Um and, she got anyways, too thin, she got too boring, but yeah. Anyways, uh this this little fucker gets to do whatever he wants around gets the world. Gets to do whatever he wants. And yeah. this statement apparently that he made is good enough. Uh, for now, it's good enough for everyone, I guess. It's not good enough for me, but it's good enough for everyone else. Basically, so, that he had a big lapse in judgment, but don't worry. Uh, I promise, or whatever he fucking says, like every cheater says, I nothing happened. Nothing between, else happened. But nothing beyond else that. happened. We were drinking late night in New Orleans with my family, hundreds of miles away. Mm-hmm. I was holding hands and getting really touchy feely with this girl, but nothing else happened. Here's the strange thing for me, right? You're Justin Timberlake. You're one of the most famous people on the planet. Yeah. He was doing this on a balcony in the French Quarter, which anyone, anyone can just walk by and snap a photo or a video. Again, like, he you're wants, in plain sight. It wasn't like you were at a private caught, party right? behind I mean, the thing. Exactly. I don't know what that, that story was, man. Um, but I don't think that marriage is going to last for more than two years, right? I, it's, I will say this. It's been through a lot so <laughs> far. It? Yeah. There is always, I'm telling you, like there's always a blind item about him fucking cheating. In New York. There, well, there all was. All over, dude. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Like literally all the time or wanting to leave her or they're separated. Well, I remember bullshit. when they were dating, there was always, always. rumors that he was And there was a real thing that happened, but they kind of got back together yeah. and they're okay with it. And she keeps having to like, be okay with it. And yeah. apparently she is. So at this point, it's on her. At this point, in my mind, they have an open marriage. And they just she just says, don't let it get out. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. it's been a, enough things that you either are a stupid dingling do- doormat or you just go, all right, 
do whatever you need to do. I just don't want to look like a fucking idiot. Sure. So if you get caught, if you th- you see, you know, paparazzi takes pictures of you guys, that's not cool. Right. But whatever else you want to do and that you clearly are going to do all the time, eh. do it. I'll keep making my weird ass, super depressing movies. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> sure, and I'll just keep getting skinnier. Uh, that is, so my teeth are just, that. I mean, she, she almost can't close her mouth. Man. Do you know what I mean? Like skeleton face. She used to be the hottest. Beale Street used to be the hottest. Oh, uh, definitely. That was my jam Seventh back heaven. in the day. Bruh. Perfect amount of weight. Big naturals. How about her yeah. in uh, Rules of Attraction? <sighs> I mean, that was prime. Come on. Kimmy. Come on. I came in. Yeah. I, uh, it was a big crush back in the day for me. We know, Ross. You've told me many times. You've told me about the time that you met her. You shoot almost, or shoot. She was, I gave him a shot. She I gave was my best flirting shot that with night. you. Blah, blah, blah. I've heard it literally shots. a million times. But here's the moral of the story, Jabes. It didn't work out, so you're with me. Cool. <laughs> what you said you tried no. and it didn't work. That's the story, no, isn't it? No, it isn't. You tried and she wasn't having You've it. You've gotten hotter. She's gotten not as hot anymore. So it's just like, <laughs> yeah, I made the right move. Made the right move. Did you? Or you got rejected by the right person? Got rejected by the right person. Blammo. Yep. Shoot or shoot again. Mm-hmm. Shoot or shoot. Um. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Talk about shooting. There was... Uh, it was a quote by Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald that I often use. You use it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did, did I use it on the show last week? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to say it again for you the audience. You say it at least once every day. Uh, <laughs> miss out of the shots you don't take. <laughs> there you go. That's the point in the show where he he does his Lee Harvey Oswald <laughs> fucking quote. And now you know. All you have to do is give Humpty a chance. Yep. <laughs> and now we are easing into the end of the show. Revolutionary figure of the day, Akitoshi Okamoto. Yeah, you're welcome for that. That is man, I've I've spoke Spanish today. I've spoke fluent Japanese. Spoken. Uh speaking. I've, I've bespoken it. I've bespoken all of it. Um so you're welcome for, for your language sesh today, kids. Spoke? I've spoke? I've sp- spoken it. Spoken, spoken right? yeah. Speaking. I've bespoken. I've He's bespoken on your it. side, of course. It's a freaking boys club it. in here. It's like AGTV. Yeah, it is. Get Gabrielle Union out of here. Yeah, get, exactly. Get Juliana She's Huff. causing problems with the sausage. Yeah. Get her out of here. <laughs> She's burning the sausage. Get yeah. her out of here. We need to have our dicks out. Swanging. <laughs> Swanging. You're ruining it, James. <laughs> <laughs> you ruin a big old dick swinging <laughs> okay. office around here. All right, here. so what's the rev? We got four thousand so revolu- square feet of dick swing in here, in Wilmington. What's so revolutionary about this? Is my dream guy? Um, I've never heard of anyone getting arrested for making complaint calls to customer service before. Have you? Uh, to nine one one, yeah, but yeah, nine one one, but yeah, not but customer, not customer service. service. That's happened? why this guy is my dream guy. Okay, so it got so bad. You know how much I hate customer service. Oh, and if anyone's gonna get arrested for what they say to customer service, I would think it'd be you. probably me, yeah, right? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I was like, but you can't get arrested for that. Nothing. Well, no, they nothing can't you can find you. You can't find them. They don't know. It did happen. Nice. And ah, this Japanese man, seventy years old. Mm-hmm. You ready for the amount of calls? Love it. 24,000 calls to the same customer service number over love and it. over and over again. Love it. Love it. Love it. Finally. Because he was pissed about what? what? Do you know what the company was or anything? Um, it was some, you know, print bullshit thing that That's he was. That's what he was up in arms about? Yeah. He was getting called for. Uh, the, the internet just fucking crashed. He called them. Yeah. He okay. called them back over and over again. Oh, okay. And uh, I guess they were calling him. And then he was like, no, this is wrong. What you've done to me is wrong. And I'm going to call you back 24,000 times. I love it. Love it. Love and it. And he's my hero. Yep. This is he's amazing. If I had that kind of time. You would absolutely do it. I look. You would absolutely do it. I did it on Drinking Bros one time. Um, for you the, didn't call that many times. No, you? but I, I did it for the fucking AT and T episode where I called them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I stayed on the phone for over two hours with them when we recorded. It was one of our highest downloaded shows of all time. It was really funny. I wish I could remember the <clears throat> na- American number Tony? of it, but American Tony 
that whole American Tony bit. I went off. I went off. Anyways, so uh, good, dude. I love shit like this. I didn't know you could get arrested for it, but um, this is great. So if this doesn't this work really out, good. we know what you're going to get into. Yeah. What business you're going to get into. I just, because I was, I was looking at the age of like 70 and I was like, oh, well, he's definitely, got, yeah. he's definitely got time on his hands. Oh my God. I can't wait. Yeah. Fucking awesome. So that really made me laugh. And um, it was a telecom company, right? KDDI. KDDI. Fuck there we go. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him, Jabes. You know? Yeah, for sure. They needed every single one of those calls. Oftentimes, it says in the article that he would just call and hang up. I love it. Just to do it. And then just uh, keep doing it over and over and love over it. again. Love it. I love that they f- knew it was him, too. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, what kind of time you're looking at for something like this, but I'm sure it's going to be worth every penny. Every single penny. Anywho, Jabes, this was fun. It was actually. I had a really fun fun time today with you. I really had a fun time. And uh, I'll see you in hell, okay? Jesus. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.